Coming at you full fledged, it's your boy Rage Man Rich with another video for y'all, man. Welcome, YouTube. Coming straight in, hit that like button, man. Comment at the beginning, middle, and ending of the video, you feel me? Share for others to see. Subscribe if you're new and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop. And if it sounds like I'm, it's raining, <laughs> <laughs> that's my ps4 i just wanted a little ambient noise i didn't want it to make it seem like i'm just in a fucking uh blank ass white room or some shit so i had to turn my uh, ps4 on i did have my fan on in my last video but i think you can hear that a little too loud so yeah excuse me for that but um yeah i see the title yeah i see the thumbnail so what we're gonna do is read a quick article from Fox 11 Los Angeles. It was written by Chris Williams and it was published last uh, yesterday afternoon at uh, 3.43. So let's get right into it. Uh, Walmart pulls Juneteenth ice cream after backlash. We sincerely apologize. It's the channel, I mean, it's the title. Walmart will remove its ice cream commemorating Juneteenth amid, amid growing backlash. Photos of the product recently surfaced on most social media. Share and celebrate Af African American culture, emancipation, and enduring hope, the label read. The ice cream consisted of a swirl of red velvet and cheesecake colors. Juneteenth marks a holiday, a marks a celebration of freedom and independence. The company said in a, in, in a statement to Fox television stations. However, we received feedback that few items caused concern for some of our customers, and we sincerely apologize. We are reviewing our assortment and will remove items as, as appropriate. Uh, here is on the uh, article. I'm going to put this in the, uh, put the article in the description below. Uh, this is a tweet from a guy named Mullet O'Brien, and it's uh, it says capitalism is awesome. You got the celebration, you got the pride ice cream great value celebration edition right next to the uh great value Juneteenth edition of ice cream, which is pretty crazy. I'm gonna get into that later, but uh, let's continue with the uh, article. Juneteenth commemorates June nineteenth, eighteen sixty five, when Union soldiers brought the news of freedom to enslave black people in Galveston, Texas, two months after the Confederacy had surrendered. It was about two and a half years after, after the Emancipation Proclamation freed the slaves in Southern states. Last year, President Joe Biden signed a bill creating on Juneteenth the National Independence Day. Since June 19th fell on a Saturday, the government observed the holiday Friday. At least nine states have designated it in law as an official paid state holiday. All but one of these states acting after George Floyd, a black man, was killed last year in Minneapolis. Hmm. Okay, that was a pretty short article. That's what it was. All right, so I'm going to just... Okay, let me let me scroll through this article first. I'm going to give my analysis on this article. It was very short, very informative, real written. But this ain't, I ain't getting into the APA style fucking, fucking review of this video. So, uh, yeah, this, this is nuts, man. Uh, this right here is just, what, what can I say? Like, <laughs> The world is so weird, man. Like we really in this, we in a real life simulation, bro. Like, uh, I'ma just, I'ma just define what Juneteenth is again. If y'all didn't want to hear me read the article and you skip to this point, uh, Juneteenth is a federal holiday in the United States that commemorates the emancipation of enslaved African Americans. It is also often observed for celebrating African American culture originating in Galveston, Texas. It's been celebrated annually on June 19th in various parts of the United States since 1865. So that's what it is. Now, 
I'ma tell y'all, like, I heard the word Juneteenth before, but like my first introduction to like the concept of Juneteenth was everybody hates Chris. I'm not even faking. Like, <laughs> and the crazy part about that was me being introduced to Juneteenth that way when I was like younger, like it, I was still in school basically. Like the way they was talking about it on Everybody Hates Chris was the same way I'm looking at it as it is in a mockery type thing. Like who who celebrates this? Like I've never seen somebody celebrate this in real life outside of the past couple of years. Like you just read that you just heard that it's only nine states are really making this a like a like a holiday to where you basically getting off work and they making it official consumerist holiday. So it's, I've never heard of, I like outside of now, like the past couple of years, like they said, they really ain't start pushing this into like the death of George Floyd, which is a whole nother topic. Like I ain't even going to speak on George Floyd right now, but this is about Juneteenth. So yeah, that's that's wild, bro. Like that was my introduction to this shit. Like the TV shit is coming to life, bro. Like <laughs> what the hell is going on, bro? My first time hearing about this holiday was on Everybody Hates Chris. Not since then have I seen this holiday like really accentuated on television. Like and again, it was addressed in a mocking fashion on Everybody Hates Chris. So this shit is this shit is crazy, man. But uh, I had a question. Like, even when it was first, you know, fully established and brought into reintroduced to society, I should say, um, a question I always had was, why is Juneteenth so relevant now? Like right now, at this moment, because we've all known about it, but it's not until now once we started talking about it. And uh, I had a couple of answers. Uh, uh, I, I answered to myself after I asked the question. And uh, one was the segment of people pushing it. Now, we know, again, we just saw, we just read that President Joe Biden is the person that has officially made this uh, uh, paid holiday or whatever it was. Whatever it was called, shit. Uh, I just hold on. Let me scroll down. I mean, what what is it? What is it? I'm gonna be precise here. Yeah, it's a it's a National Independence Day now. So we know President Biden represents the Democrats, who are uh, almost synonymous with liberalism. You know, so. Those kind of coincide together. And, you know, that's one of my answers. Like, the people that's pushing this, Joe Biden, we know that he want, he wanted the black vote, the quote-unquote black vote, so bad. I don't think people remember this, but he said, if you don't vote for him, you're not quote-unquote black. Which is crazy, because he's, he's literally right <laughs> that you're not black. But he was trying to make it, he's trying to guilt trip you into the voting for him, but... I like that's pretty he told some truth in a very crazy statement. Like that's a that was a loaded statement that he said that people really need to pay attention to. But yeah, uh I think that's one of the reasons, of course, the pander, you know. He's the uh prince of pandering. I call I like to call uh President Biden. I don't like to call him that. I just call him that. I really don't talk about him that much. <laughs> but this was one of my rare videos. Um uh, I re uh, I'm going to start getting into some more news, you know. Basketball is getting kind of slow, and I kind of want to – I see I'm posting a lot of gameplay videos, so I just want to kind of mix it up. But, yeah, that's one of my answers. It's the segments of people pushing it. That's why it's so relevant now and why they want to push it. Uh, the second answer was being gifted – us, quote-unquote, black people, being gifted the white savior – and uh, his ideologies after uh, four years of, quote-unquote, oppression via the 45th president, 
I believe, President Donald Trump's term. That's what it represents in the eyes of uh, liberals, Democrats, whatever you want to call them, people that you don't even got to put them names on it. But, uh, yeah, that's my second answer. Like, because we know, we're going to keep it a bean. We know our people love these these gestures and give it to the same people that's uh, gifted at us, given to the same people who we claim to be eject, uh, oppressed by. So, I mean, we love those. So when it came out, bro, I swear to God, when Juneteenth was first reintroduced into society on social media, I ain't never seen so many fake, bruh, <laughs> Bruh, I swear to God, bruh, I ain't say nothing. I just looked at it, bruh. I, I said I made it. I made an address to June, Juneteenth, maybe once or twice. But when I did, I just, bruh, like man, it's so many followers in the world, bruh. That's all I gotta say because I ain't never heard nobody say I'm celebrating Juneteenth until the past two years, bruh. I swear to God, if you can, if you say that, you're lying. I'm like, I don't care what you're saying. <laughs> like it's crazy it's nuts man and this is just another you know an it was another uh gift uh granted to us by our uh our uh flesh in uh blood idol in the eyes of many of us uh you know they're not going to admit it but you know that's what it is My third and final answer, it kind of all coincides. It all kind of like correlates. It's all kind of like the same answer. I mean, it's all it's all one answer, but they correlate. And it's a video that I want to play. It basically it basically describes the phenomenon that a lot of people, specifically our people, black people, quote unquote, black people in the United States. Uh, the phenomenon we go through, we've been going through the past, oh shit, I don't even want to say 500 because that'll be historically inaccurate. I'm going to say the past, shit, for real, for real, because we had our own minds even back in the Jim Crow and the slavery days. I'm going to say the past 60, 70 years, really. So the video is called, I'm going to put the description I'm going to put the link in the description also. It's called uh, Dr. Utopia Sells Isms and Make Mind Freedom, 1948. And in one of, uh, in one of the um, things the guy, it basically, the video was, uh, it's a cartoon. This dude... He's meeting all these different type of people. He's meeting this politician, this aristocrat, this farmer, and he's selling them. He's selling them a product. The product is a it's a liquor, it's a drink. It's called isms. And he's telling you all the the benefits of it. And one of the benefits of it was enormous profits, quote unquote, enormous profits. And I just said like Joe Biden. <laughs> Joe Biden, he he did some he did he doing some things in, under this presidency. I'm completely apolitical, but I'm not stupid. I do pay attention to everything. But uh I told y'all, he just made Juneteenth a, a official consumerist holiday. They making straight merchandise off this shit, and people were buying it. People buying it. Black people, quote unquote, quote unquote white people, everybody buying that shit. That shit selling like crap. So <laughs> So, yeah, he made it an official holiday, and the pr a whole premise, the whole premise behind the holiday is slavery and racism. So he's selling you an ism, and you buying that shit. <laughs> Man, it's crazy. And again, you swallowing the contents of the ism every time you feed into that Juneteenth stuff, which I've never seen people again celebrate into the these past couple two years now i'm finna uh i'm about to play this uh this little clip it's gonna be like 10 seconds of this video 
and I want to, I want y'all to hear what he's saying. So listen up. You get your bottle absolutely free. I hereby turn over to Ism Incorporated everything I have, including my freedom and the freedom of my children and my children's children, in return for which said ism promises to take care of me forever. Now I heard it. Now play that back. I want y'all to play that back and hear it again. Now tell me that don't sound like a lot of people, a lot of our people specifically, that because this is who this is directed to. Do that not sound like a lot of us? We buy this ism, we buy this belief of something, and we just gonna live and die, or we just gonna hang off them up. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> wow. I did not mean it like that's a no pun intended. We just hanging off this tree. Like, like we grabbing on a branch. That's why I'm let me describe it. We're grabbing on this branch for dear life, this branch of a belief. And that shit's supposed to guide us into the promised land, basically, is what I'm saying. Like, don't that sound like a lot of us? Like our are people celebrating this holiday, this quote unquote holiday, holiday literally, literally means holy day, this quote unquote holiday, are people celebrating it? It's just a manifestation of our ignorance of self. Again, this holiday, the whole premise of it, they said it's an Independence Day, so we're getting freed from the people, white people, who at the time, not just white people, also uh, black people, also in the United States. Uh, uh, I mean, not I mean, not yeah, black people own slaves as well. Chattel slavery, uh, indentured servitude, but the whole premise was white people. They don't they don't mention that part, but white people are supposed to be the masters we're getting free from them i mean historically that's that's only that's only half right like that's only half right this whole the whole premise is is cap you know we it again it's an ignorance of ourselves it's our responsibility to know this shit because they're not going to tell you why would and that that grinds my gears so much when people say you're a conspiracy theorist. Why would you believe the information that's given to you by the people that's quote unquote oppressing you? That don't make sense. Like it's your job to look for that. But it's a lot of us that are very intellectually lazy. Let's keep it a bean. I'm gonna keep it a bean on this whole video. I keep it a bean on my whole channel, bro. Like. The whole premise of the holiday is completely false. Like the premise of the holiday again was this this over obsession with this slave narrative because that's what it is. I, we've been learning this in school since I before I probably since my grandparents were born. I mean, grandparents was raised probably my great grandparents. This slave narrative that we just got freed and we were civilized as a society just two hundred years ago it's not it's not true man like <laughs> okay yes for a little piece of history for a little segment in history which is like around 200 or so years it's not 500 that's 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 not true that's completely false like around 200 or so years we were enslaved chattel slavery prior to that indentured servitude, which was occupied by rich white and black people. Uh, yeah, that is true. But prior, let's, if you go, that's where, that's where they stop. They so obsessed with that. I don't even acknowledge none of that. You never see me. You never see me talking about nothing, slave, nothing, slave, nothing, because most of that shit is an exaggeration. Like what about before that? Like, they make it seem like our history begins and ends with slavery. Like, what about before that? 
I, I'm a journalist, so I like to consider myself somewhat of an historian, of a reporter, and a linguist. I, I do know my language pretty well. This all I'm gonna say. If you think slavery is synonymous with quote unquote black people, look up the etymology of the word slave. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, but yeah, it's the manifestation of ignorance of self. The obsession with the slave narrative, we just got that out the way. Uh, not and another thing. This kind of goes into the obsession with the slave narrative. Why do not just the people that perpetuate this holiday, the powers that be, us personally, us as a people, why do we associate ourselves? Why do we associate ourselves with the descendant, not with the descendants of slaves? I mean, if you know that, if you know your your lineage and your ancestry and you want to claim that, I don't have no problem with that. But if you don't know that, why are you associate associating yourself with slavery? Like, I don't get that. Not every black person, quote unquote, black person in America is a descendant of a slave. Do you not know it was free blacks in the north, nigga? Like, do you not know it was free blacks in the north? Like, what about them? Like, what about the free blacks in the north? What about the peop the European blacks that came over here after uh, the Black Plague and the Caucasians took over in Europe? What about those people? What about the migrations of black uh, uh, nobility, the black nobility from Europe? What about those people? Like, y'all missing whole segments of black people. We not all the same. Like, the people, it's very insidious, bro, because they make it seem like it's very good, but it's just causing more mental, more mental harm on everybody, bro. It's making everybody stupid because they all believing in this goofy ass shit. Like, for real, I'm sorry for cursing, but it, like, I, I like making videos like this because... I'm seeing it in real time. Like the slave narrative is an exaggeration. Most of that is lies and half truths. Like, no, it was not 500 years of chattel slavery. That's historically inaccurate. No, it wasn't just white people at the beginning owning people. No, white people did not just start um, society in 17, 16, 18, and that's where the world went from there. It was a whole world <laughs> before slavery, before we were enslaved. But it's a reason for that. And that kind of go right over everybody's head. But I'm going to read the package real quick. Let's read the package of the Juneteenth Great Value Celebration Edition of ice cream, shall we? It says, again, this is the swirled red velvet and cheesecake flavor ice cream. The wording, the, <laughs> bruh, this is nuts, dude. Look at the wording, swirled, really? Swirled? Now, if y'all know, th this is a pun, this is a pun. Y'all know what a swirl is. If y'all don't know what a swirl is, y'all need to get, y'all need to get hip for real if y'all watching my videos, man. If y'all don't know what a swirl is, that's pretty funny. That's de they definitely did that on purpose. That was not an accident. Uh, they got the African, they got the African flag, nigga. Not all of us are from Africa. Some of us were. Some of our ancestors were already here. Some of our ancestors came from Europe. Some of our ancestors did come from Africa. Why do you have an African flag on this? Like, this is mocking you. Like, this is mocking you. Like, I don't understand. And it says our story. You know a black person that come up with this. And if they did, they don't know what they're talking about. They're, big ass, they're, they're part of the problem. It says our story on the packaging. Share and celebrate African-American culture, emancipation, and enduring hope. I, I kind of... 
I love words. I love words. Enduring hope. That's very interesting. I, I agree that it is enduring hope. We black people are enduring the same mental slavery by hoping that the white person, our savior, is going to free us. So we're going to stand beside him. Like, that's never going to happen. This is real world stuff. This is Call of Duty shit. This war shit, man. Nobody, no, no kingdom is going to give they shit up without bloodshed. Now, do they have the same amount of power as they did, like, say, 200 years ago? No, they losing power for sure, but they still on top. Like, why would they give power away? That don't happen. Like, <laughs> that never happens. When has that ever happened in history? Never. Like, but we are enduring hope. Some of us, a lot of us are enduring hope. What a crazy package, bro. That that's crazy, bro. That that is nuts. And the uh let's go back to that tweet. Capitalism is awesome by Mullet O'Brien. Uh it got the Juneteenth ice cream right by the pride ice cream. And I'm that's very insulting, bro. That's very insulting. Like, if y'all don't if y'all haven't noticed, they like to make an equivalence between Black people, quote unquote, black people, and the LGBTQ. If anybody try to make that equivalent in front of me, I'm gonna check you, bro, because that's basically a, an insult. That, that's really an insult to me. Like that's really an insult to my intelligence and to me as a person. Like, how are you gonna equal? Equi- how are you gonna equal my existence to somebody's personal choice? Like, I don't like. That's that's nuts to me. If I ever see somebody, if I see you making this equivalence on my social media, if I see it on my feed, I'm not going to go looking for it. But if I see you saying something like that, I'm going to say something. Like that's just no, don't do that. There's no there's no equivalence. There's no equal between the two. So, you could just cut that out for real. That's that's nuts, bro. But uh yeah, what a story, man. What a story. Now, I'm going to give y'all my personal Juneteenth story. My first experience. My first ever experience with Juneteenth. And it was just last year. So, this was last summer, last June, of course. I was living in Springfield, Missouri. I was in my senior year of uh, college. And in June, I was in the process of uh, doing my internship with a national public radio station, uh, KSMU Ozarks Public Radio, when I was a, I was a news reporter, I was making scripts, uh, voiceovers, editing, uh, fixing sound and stuff like that. I digress, but <clears throat> this was the first time, Juneteenth, when I was working there, paid internship, when I was working there, this was the first time Juneteenth was like, again, a national independence day. People got off. We, people was able to get off work. So it was Juneteenth, and I ended up getting off work early. My uh, The news director, shout out, shout out my news director. I ain't going to name drop her, but KSMU Ozarks Public Radio news director. If you see this right now. I appreciate you for your help, and I hope you enjoyed your day. <laughs> but uh, the story was, it was Juneteenth, and we got off work early. So she said, you can go ahead. I, I did my assignment. I made a script or whatever the assignment was for the day. She told me it's Juneteenth. We having a parade here on campus. The radio station just so happened to be on campus. but So uh, she said, it's it's a celebration. So, uh, she's Caucasian, of course. There's no issue. I have no issues with that. But, uh, this is makes it kind of funny. She said, uh, she said, you could go. We, we, uh, some of us are about to go up there. Uh, you could just head out for the day. I didn't even consider going to that. I ain't even, I ain't even consider it. I was like, I'm finna go home. I'm about to go home. Like, you can, you can go. I'm pretty sure they had a great time. But I never considered going to that because... I ain't never go to them college events. I was I I was known, but 
you had to run into me, bro. Like, and just because you had to run into me never meant I wasn't doing something. I was probably just doing it by myself. But uh, I didn't even consider going to that. They probably went. They have it. Probably had a blast. I probably came home doing what I always do. Uh, but that was my my personal story <laughs> with Juneteenth. So, uh, do you all have personal stories with Juneteenth? If you do, drop in the comments below, man. I got some questions for y'all. What do y'all think about this whole instance? Am I looking too deep into this? Am I a conspiracy theorist? Am I looking too deep into this? Uh, is the guy, Mother O'Brien, looking too deep into this? Because they're making it very obvious. It's, like, really in your face. Uh, what do you think about the article? Is there anything that I missed out on? What do you think about this whole Juneteenth holiday? What do you think about just the pandering, the acceptance of the pandering for many of us? Like, just the the uh i consider what i consider to be white supremacy uh the the uh which is the the washing of history just the the per perpetuating of narratives which are completely false which but it's understandable you know it's understandable these are harsh truths that we have to acknowledge truths will set you free it's understandable why they would why would they tell you that again but again it's our responsibility let me know in the comments below man again hit that like button smash the like button please share this i want everybody to see this we got to get the views up on this i see y'all watching certain videos so y'all gotta watch this one because this is a rare video i don't do many of news videos but i'm about to keep do i am going to start more since the season the off season is approaching <clears throat> But let me know what y'all think in the comments. Share, subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop. If there's a particular topic you want me to speak on, hit that link in the pinned comment section below and donate to The Rage. And I'm out.